just wanted to talk a little bit about my skincare routine. And the thing about my skincare routine is I use the oil cleansing method, which I described and gave you a link to more information on a post about a month ago. And I'll put a link below in my blog and also on YouTube so that way you can reference to that um, post so you know exactly what it is because I'm not going to go into detail about that. But um, basically on the oil um, cleansing method information, like any site that has information on it, they tell you to use olive oil and castor oil as your um, oil blends to cleanse your face. And I actually use castor oil and I just get mine from Walgreens and it's in the laxative section. And I think it's like $5 or something. And instead of olive oil, I use jojoba oil and I just get that at Trader Joe's. Um, I think it's like $7 from Trader Joe's. And the reason I use jojoba oil is because it's the closest thing to your skin's natural oil that it produces. And I would use a 50-50 mixture, although I recommend if you're going to do the oil cleansing method to just experiment for yourself. And But the reason I do a 50-50 blend is because the castor, I find that the castor oil doesn't, um, if I don't put enough castor oil, my skin doesn't get clean um, to the level that it gets clean if I put more castor oil. So I use 50-50 and um, to avoid drawing out my skin instead of the recommended three to four times using a washcloth to steam, I only do it twice and it seems to leave the perfect amount of moisture in my skin while still um, getting all my makeup and the excess oil off of my skin. And I just put the blend in a empty um, bottle like this and an empty clean sterile bottle because you don't want to get any bacteria in there. And um, I just put it like about a quarter, a little more than a quarter size in my palms and I massage it into my skin gently for about four minutes or so and I use it to also remove any of my makeup and I just keep massaging and then I steam my face like I said. Put, I put the washcloth in hot, warm, not super hot, just like warm to hot water and I rinse it and then I put the washcloth on my face until it becomes cool and then I just pat all the excess oil off and rinse it very well and do it one more time. And then after that I do a um, honey mask. It's just pure raw, it has to be raw, un uh, unheated natural honey. And I put a, a little bit on my hands and pat that onto my skin. And the reason I do that is because I find that it helps remove any excess oil that um, that I might have missed from the oil cleansing method without drying my skin. And in addition to that, it also has antibacterial properties in it and antifungal, natural antifungal properties. And it has natural antioxidants in it. And it has natural acids that help exfoliate your skin. So it kind of um, works as... You know, instead of like using the glycolic acid or any of those other things that come in anti-aging skincare, this is basically like a natural anti-aging skincare because it has those natural um, some natural acids in it, and um, it just it just has so many good properties and vitamins in it that's really amazing for your skin. And where I discovered that was. I knew this woman who, this Persian woman who was like 40 years old and had amazing skin and she said that her secret was um, ever since she was younger that she put honey on her skin every day and it was a like tradition passed down from her mother. And um, based on my research of that, it seems to make sense and it's been working amazing for my skin and has left my skin smooth and clear and like I said, it removes anything I might have missed from steam, steaming off the... Um, oil from my skin and before I was using this like the oil cleansing method worked well but I definitely noticed a difference when I started using this and hopefully it will have some long-term anti-aging results for me which I believe it does and then after that kind of as a toner I just use rose water I just um, filled a bottle that just like an empty bottle with actually just culinary rose water this is orange blossom water because I'm out of my rose water but um it's just the same brand and everything. This I got from a um, Middle Eastern Persian market 
but you can just use any rose water, culinary or whatever. Just make sure that it's real rose water because sometimes people will sell, or companies will sell rose water um, or sell a product as rose water, but it's not really rose water. It's just water with rose oil added in it. Um, rose water itself is actually like the water distilled from the process of making rose oil. So make sure it's actually rose water. And, um, and the culinary stuff is just as good as like the cosmetic stuff. The only like difference would be if, it, if the cosmetic one had something added to it like glycerin or something. And um, that just works really well. Uh, yeah, I guess it just has a toner. I don't know if it really, it supposedly has really nice benefits. I find that it just, you know, leaves my skin very soft. But I don't know if it's, it's, it's not necessarily a necessary step. I just find that it kind of completes my skincare process. Um, in the morning, I just rinse my face with water and um, use jojoba oil as my moisturizer, just two or three drops pressed into my skin. And, um, oh, before that, I also spritz my face with the rose water. And I also use the rose water to set my makeup. So if I have makeup, I can just like spritz. And it just gives a nice set, setting um, effect and blends my, makes, you know, blends the foundation in with the skin and just makes it look more natural. Um, I don't use night cream because I follow, uh, Dr. Hauschka has his like skincare philosophy and it's really, Dr. Let me, let me rewind for a second. Dr. Hauschka is a holistic skincare company and that was the first like all natural skincare product I used and it completely healed and cleared my skin when I was having really bad acne. The thing about Dr. Hauschka is that it's moderately expensive and, um, and when I discovered this, this has actually been working just as well, if not better, but I still go by Dr. Hashka's philosophy because, um, it's, it's really worked for my skin and it makes a lot of sense. And his philosophy says that, um, during the night, our skin needs to breathe and use that time to heal itself and rebalance itself. And if you use night creams or put heavy products on your skin at night, your skin doesn't have that chance to heal itself or breathe. And also, in addition to that, your skin will become dependent on those four night creams to um, provide the moisture for your skin, and it will stop producing its own moisture and stop producing it and start stop doing its natural healing. Um, process and then your skin will just always look like crap unless you use more and better more and more products and you know more effective products so this way it allows your it so this method and not using night cream supports your skin's natural healing um, abilities so that is basically my skincare method and it's worked amazing for me I highly recommend it try it even if the idea of putting oil on your skin scares you to death like it's the most natural thing you can do it's um oil is actually really good for all skin types especially oily skin because it um it helps your skin to stop producing excess oils because what happens is you cleanse your skin it strips your natural oil uh, layer off your skin and then your skin starts to overproduce oils to make up for it and that's why we get really oil that's why people tend to get really oily skin people with a dry skin they keep putting more and more like moisturizing products on their skin and then their skin stops producing the oil and your skin just becomes more dry and you end up in this horrible cycle so this is just a great way to balance out your skin and I just rec I just highly recommend you just give it a try if you don't like it not everything works for everyone but it's been amazing for me. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Post it in the comment section. And um, I'll also add more information on my blog. Okay, thank you. Bye.